Today, YouTube, I want to talk about something which I've never heard discussed in any shape or form on the internet. Nobody talks about this issue in terms of nostalgia. Um, and it's a big one for me. I guess other people were a lot luckier than I was back in the day. But uh, what I'm talking about is the dreaded, dreaded read-write error on the Amiga. This was something that is so nostalgic for me, like this noise, it's a certain noise you hear from the disk drive on the Amiga. When the Amiga attempts to read a track on the floppy disk that it uh, cannot read for some reason, it, it goes into like some kind of like maybe a recycle, like it kind of like goes back to the track and tries it again. And the sound the disk drive makes physically when this happens is incredibly, incredibly horrifying to me. In terms of, it invokes a sense, a feeling inside you that is, that scares you. Uh, it's not that it's like a horrifying kind of sound, it's just, it reminds you, it instantly teleports you back into 19, 1990 and you are playing a game and you hear this sound and this sound means the end of everything. <laughs> this sound means that everything, if you like that game, say goodbye to it. It's gone. It's dead. It's gone forever. Instantly. When you hear that fucking sound, it's over. I say it's nostalgic for me. It's not, not in a good way, but in a terrible, terrible way. This sound haunted my dreams. Say it right in the manual. Please make copies of this game because uh, it might not survive. <laughs> and that was the truth. Uh, I remember back in the day, my father playing some games like Pirates, Pirates on the Amiga. I remember him playing it. And then one day he put it in and Was over and that meant that you better have your fucking originals somewhere and you better hope they work because <laughs> it's time to make another backup i also remember eye of the beholder him playing that and i requested <laughs> i remember this one section of eye of the beholder that was you know below the sewers or whatever like you go you keep going down and down and down and for whatever reason he was like mapping and he always hand mapped hand mapping eye of the beholder my god what a task. I was spending hours in the sewers. I'm like, can't you go back to the, the other place for a change of scenery? And he went there and like, attempted to load. It. And it was over. And he didn't even want to, he didn't even want to go back to playing it because it was, it was, it, it was, it was dead. It was gone. <laughs> Games that I play too. I remember I, I, I had this love affair absolute love affair with Into the Eagle's Nest on the Amiga. And I would come back, I would just, I would be in school, in elementary school, and the entire day I was just, oh, I want to get home, I want to get home, I want to play this game. And one day I popped it in. <laughs> this fucking noise! And it was, and it pissed me off so much badly and I fucking slammed it into the floppy drive, and I ended up breaking the entire Amiga. <laughs> My dad had to fucking send it to the shop to fix it. Sometimes, it didn't always do it. Sometimes you'd hear it, it would start the process. It would be. And then it would, it would get, and then it would read it somehow. <laughs> and then it would go on like normal. And of course, the, the Amiga floppy drive is nostalgic anyway, compared to any other computer, period, ever. The Amiga floppy drive is something very special because it just makes sounds that are so very audible and nostalgic and good. And don't, don't anybody ever dare say the Amiga didn't sound awesome with its floppy drive. If you think it sounded bad, then you're using the emulator. And the emulator doesn't come close 
to representing the true sound of the Amiga floppy drive. I don't know why anybody even uses that thing, other than maybe understanding that the game is actually loading, maybe. But in terms of nostalgia, God damn, is the uh, WinUAE and any emulator, you know, that emulates the floppy drive, they are terrible at it. Because it's nostalgic in its own right, compared to any computer, period, there's nothing. There's no, I'm telling you, for fucking serious, 100% truth, no computer compares to the Amiga when it, when, it, when, when discussing the floppy drive sound. So, because of that wonderful feeling you feel for the Amiga floppy drive sound, combined with this special feeling you feel with this read-write error thing. Oof. Oof. It, it, it's very painful. It's a very tug relationship. And it really hurt. <laughs> When we finally got a PC in 1995, my dad gave me the Amiga up in my room, and I, I played on the Amiga until the end of the century, around 1999, when almost all of the games suddenly had read-write errors, almost all of them. And it was like clockwork. I put it in the drive, and it, it physically pained me one game that you love after game after you, it just it didn't work. And in retrospect, I threw out half of my original Amiga games. In retrospect, I kind of think it was uh, just the disk drive that was causing the problems. But I imagine if my father would have bought some kind of disk drive cleaning utility, which they did have, but I don't think he ever owned one, I imagine a lot of problems would have been caused with that simple tool, and I have that tool now, but uh, yes, I, I do believe that these things were getting dirty and causing a lot of uh, inaccurate read-write errors, which is unfortunate because I threw away half of my fucking original games. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself for that because I bet you anything, you know, 80% of them would work to this day. There's a thing with uh, the Amiga when you encountered the said error, read-write error, and it would bring up a menu, it would say retry, and every, every fucking time you said retry, it would just come up with the same error. But if you said cancel, it would say uh, use Disk Doctor to cure it. Disk Doctor, which is, which was a workbench tool. Let's read up on Disk Doctor from the manual. Disk Doctor. Purpose to attempt to repair a corrupt disk. Path C Disk Doctor. Specification. Disk Doctor attempts to repair a corrupt floppy disk enough to allow you to retrieve files from it and copy them onto a good disk. If Amiga DOS detects a corrupt disk, it displays a request or stating that the disk could not be validated. By using Disk Doctor, you can try to restore the disk file structure. After running Disk Doctor, you should copy the restored files to another disk, then reformat the corrupt disk. Example, if you receive a message stating that volume workbench is not validated or error validating disk slash disk is unreadable, you can use Disk Doctor to retrieve the disk files. For instance, the corrupt disk is on DF1 type. Disk Doctor DF1 colon. I mean, DOS will ask you to insert the disk, blah, 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 blah. Now, now what this program did in retrospect was allow you to maybe get off, get your save files or something that were on a disk. Um, I've read online in the past that something was wrong with this doctor from the moment they put it on the operating system. And, they, and in truth, Commodore with version 2.0 of Workbench, it was gone. It was only on 1.0, 1.2, and 1.3. If that even. I know it was on 1.2 and 1.3. I'm not even sure it was on 1.0. But there was something wrong with this doctor, and it did fuck up discs. It definitely fucked up discs. If your disc was fucked, using disc doctor only fucked it more. <laughs> the only thing you got from using disc doctor was you could now put in the disc and it wouldn't go. It wouldn't do the sound anymore, and if there were some files on there, 
you were able to get them off. So maybe if you had a save game on there, you could retrieve it. But you wouldn't fix the program. The program would still be fucked, and the game, it was over. It was over. Like, that game is dead. You have better make backup copies, or you better have the original disc somewhere. But I never hear anybody talk about this in any shape, shape or form, and... It's like they never experienced it or something. I don't know. I don't know. Did you guys just get really lucky with your disk drives? Did you clean them? I don't know. But because of the fact that it was in the manual, I, I assume that others must have must have uh, heard this sound. Others must feel the cringe that I feel when I hear this sound. And because of that, I wanted to talk about it a little, and I wanted to explore it, and I wanted to see if I could find an old disc that still is fucked up and so you, and uh, let you guys hear it and I want to see if one of these discs I don't care about anymore maybe I can try out disc doctor on it to see what the fuck it does and yeah let's have some fun with the dreaded terrible ah read write error so imagine uh, yesterday we were playing the fantastic wonderful civilization and it worked perfectly fine, and then the next day, or here we are, eagerly awaiting to go back and load our saved game, because uh, we've got all these turns to do. We put in Civilization into the disk drive. Everything's going fine so far. Can't wait to get to our saved game. Volume Civ 1 has a read-write error. Now that didn't give the complete sound that it normally did. It just went eh. Didn't do the complete sound. Let's see if we can coerce it. No, not there. There. <laughs> it started it, but it didn't go fully through. But nevertheless, volume Civ 1 has a read write error. Unable to load game error code 1 to 1. Yeah, imagine how heartbreaking that is. That's that's heart fucking breaking. Let's try this disc here. This is a this is a save disc my dad made for a, looks like some kind of baseball game. Let's put it in. I believe this one doesn't work. There it is. Error validating disc. Disc is unreadable. That's the sound I was looking for. <laughs> oh, it makes you want to break down and cry. Oh, God. So many discs. So many discs. I heard that noise so much, so often over the years. And truth be told, like, it's a... Uh, I think more often than not, it was a fucking disk drive just needed to be cleaned. World Circuit? I, I was sure these, I, I was sure these were unreadable. At least a couple of them. And in fact, I even tested it, and what, and the first time I tested it, it was unreadable. The second disc was unreadable. And then I went to record it for you guys, and the fucking thing, what, wouldn't you know it, they all fucking work. All of them. <laughs> My original World Circuit discs, all four of them still work to this day. Um, and it was that was not the case 15 years ago, I assure you. My disk drive was fucked up. And, <laughs> and yeah, so if you do get this fucking error, uh, the first thing you want to do is clean your damn disk drive. Get a disk cleaning utility and see if that fixes the problem. Because I think that's the problem more often than not. However, sometimes maybe the disk is really truly fucked up. As in this case, maybe. Goosebumps. I imagine playing a game like Eye of the Beholder and you're in the thick of it, and then suddenly you gotta insert insert disc three, you put in disc three. <clears throat> ah! So what about this infamous disc doctor that it tells us so much about? If we insert the disc, okay, that got awful sound. 
error validating disk disk is unreadable retry disk is unreadable cancel disk structure corrupt use disk doctor to cure it correct it df0 and dos not a dos disk apparently so what is disk doctor i don't really care about fucking this disk over and actually i may perhaps since it was a saved disk perhaps i can get some information out of it which would be nice and I can utilize that in a future review for my uh, for my dad. Anyway, so it's pretty simple. You just type in disk doctor, I or disk doctor, disk doctor df zero. Make sure it's df zero, not dh zero. That would suck to fuck up your entire hard drive. Disk doctor df zero. Disk Doctor version 1.34. Insert disk to be corrected and press return. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's enable the fucking disk. <laughs> Handy little workbench feature that I don't think too many people know about is if you press the down button, or correct? I thought it was the down button. No, up button. If you press the up button, it will automatically put in the last command that you did, and you can actually cycle through them. If I had more commands you can press up and down arrow just to cycle through them all so <laughs> this dr. df0 it's gonna go through them all and actually this is a way if you have like a game that uh, didn't that's a non dos booter um, this is a good way to actually get the information off of it. Hard error track 22, surface 0. So it does tell you where the errors are. It's a hard error on these tracks, apparently. Sometimes, if you're lucky, it'll just be like one or two tracks, and you might be able to get a whole bunch of information off of it. I'm able to write to root, formatting root track, cannot write root block. Sorry. So this sucks because... Uh, it just fucked over our disk, and for no reason, there's nothing we can do with it. This, yeah, it really sucks, actually, because uh, there's no information we can get off this disk at this time. If we were to go into uh, Disk Master here and uh, boot up DF0, it just won't, not a DOS disk in Unit 0. It just will not let us fuck with it, which sucks. I'm putting another disc in here. Don't know if this is gonna work or not. Oh, look at look at all this shit it's doing. Replacing directory L. File set patch contains unreadable data. Key 167 is unreadable. This is one of my copies of Lost Dutchman Mine from back in the day. So there's a lot of unreadable data apparently. BVD2. Wow. Oh my god, it would have been so awesome to go into my dad's fucking. Uh, Lost Dutchman mine save file. Some file in directory C is unreadable and has been deleted. Well, fuck you. But when I put this disk in originally, it didn't do anything. It didn't. It didn't come up with the. Uh, it did not come up with the read write error. It just didn't. Didn't do anything. It just didn't do shit. It acted like the disk didn't even exist. And it's gonna come up with bad again. Ah. Now copy files required to new disk and reformat this disk. It will it actually let me do it. No, not a dust disk. So again, this doctor is a piece of shit. <laughs> right, here's one I'm hoping we can get something out of. Now this is a this is California Challenge, I believe. Uh, I've I've as a kid I put a label over it. You can kind of see underneath it. The original label is still there. This is what I did as a kid. I put another label and this is me draw and I'm quite I'm quite surprised at my drawing ability back then. Welcome to California speed limit 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 55. I'm actually quite impressed with I, I can't draw this good to this day, so wow. Apparently I had minor skill as a kid. These are these are not realistic, but they're artistic. Look at those look at those tires. I could not draw this wow like i had more talent when i was a kid than i do now <laughs> error validating disc key 88 check some error disc structure corrupt use disc doctor so let's use disc doctor 
And you see that? There it is, guys. You can just go cycle through. That's an awesome fucking command, and I wish to this day the command line in Windows doesn't have such a feature. And this that's an awesome feature. So let's uh, try to correct California Challenge. Hopefully not too many hard air track one, but it's going through some of the rest of them. That's good. I, I, maybe my high scores are still on that fucking thing. If I can get the high scores off that disc, and, and then I'll do a review of California Challenge and see if I can't put my original high scores into it, that would be fucking fantastic. With Test Drive too, you got to uh, do your own artwork with your high score, so that would be awesome. You, you got to actually write in your initials if you want to do it. That'd be cool to see what I did as a kid. And it looks like it's going to be just the one track so far. Yes. Oh, I remember that too. And when you did it, when it was successful, it would rename it Lazarus. <laughs> oh, going biblical on her ass. Lazarus. Okay. So let's, is there anything actually, okay, it says, it doesn't say, okay, let's see if, Hopefully, hopefully speaking, there's something on, on that. No. God damn it. <laughs> I am getting fucked over at every, every fucking turn. I must have reformatted. I must have already tried it a long time ago and reformatted it. So here's another disc from back in the day. Another save disc my dad had. It has a hard error on track zero and surface one. And that's it so far. Formatting block zero. Oh, replacing lead, lead name dead dead. Okay, play dead. Okay, now copy files required to a new... I think this one's going to actually come out. All-star stats. So this one still uh, retained its name. That's good. Let's see. Uh, and it, look, it automatically put it. League name dot dat, parks dot dat, players dot s. So this is my one of my dad's discs. So I'm actually going to save that. I've ha I have an Earl Weaver... Uh, directory here that I'm saving for uh, future use. Some I, I managed to uh, resurrect some of my own stuff, and I got a 1989 stat disc. I'm looking for 87 specifically. That's the one I want. I found an 88 one somewhere too. But we're gonna make a directory, and I'm gonna name it Dad. And I'm just gonna throw in this stuff in there. Hopefully it'll copy over, and it, it looks like it will. But you see the names, like league name dat, parks dat, players s. so if we go into my league here, same thing, league, league name dat, same file size, parks dat, players dat. so see, it's the exact same as my other disc, so yeah, this is, this is, now I have potentially some of my dad's very own shit from back in the day for Earl Weaver Baseball, which is fantastic news. So that is what Disc Doctor can give you. Uh, we were like one for three or something, one for four. So it's not exactly the greatest hit or miss there, but that's what it could do. Originally, when we put in the disc, it wouldn't let us do dick with the disc. It was fucked, so it wouldn't read anything. So Disc Doctor... What it can give you is maybe, if it works, which it doesn't work often, <laughs> it will allow you to, once again, read the data from the disk in order for you to copy it safely onto another disk. So that's Disk Doctor. That's Disk Doctor coming to cure your Amiga read-write errors. Hope you enjoyed this look into a very nostalgic and very... Oh, painful, painful subject for me back in the day. Ugh, the Amiga rewrite errors. See you all later. Goodbye. I'm going to play one of the best games of all time, one that I recently reviewed. Did you guys see this, by the way? Two likes! Two likes on one of the greatest fucking video games ever. World Circuit slash Formula One Grand Prix by Jeff Kremp. Two likes. Fuck you, people, sometimes. I swear to God. What is worse than the sound of a read-write error? Fucking copy protection. Similar, similarity, similar, similarity, 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 similarity. Also, 
I also remember Eye of the Beholder him playing that. 